Alright guys, it's Justin again with a uh, new unboxing. This is the Master Grade Build Strike um, full package. Um, this is going to be my next project after I finish the Unicorn um, commission. Um, I love the Build Fighter series, I love the Strike, and I love this mobile suit. This is uh, such a cool design. Um, I love the head, I love... I don't know, I love everything about it. So, bottom of the box, you've got front and back shots. Um, I love the hexagon patterns they've used all over the place. Um, get a little say figure. Uh, no raging, unfortunately. Um, it looks like it uses a lot of the same markings as the uh, regular strike. Um, you can display it with or without the, uh, uh, the backpack, I can't remember what it's called right now, the build booster, um, which is a lot like the strike where you can display it with or without its backpacks. Um, it also comes with attachments for other backpacks, so you can swap them in and out, and you can use the uh, large beam cannon. On the other side, you've got some more action shots showing off the weapons, um, the enhanced beam rifle. Uh, the regular beam rifle, and then you've also got the pistol, which you can swap all those pieces in and out. It's also got the shield, and you can uh, attach your weapons to the bottom, or not the bottom, the side of the shield. Uh, so, depending on how you want to display it. And then here's showing off some pegs and uh, some of the posability points. And this also comes with a base. Um, this came out um, this year. Bandai 2 2014. Um, it retails for 4,200 yen, so right about now it's a little over $42. So, let's go ahead and open this guy up. And I've actually gone ahead and poked around a little bit inside here, but haven't done too much. I just wanted to see the, the decal sheet mostly. Um, which, again, is a lot like the, uh, the Ale Strike. You get the um, the Ale Strike decals and all that stuff uh, and some numbers I don't know what I'm gonna do with those I'll probably end up just using a generic uh, decal sheet and I might trim some of these up we'll see but anyway at the top you're gonna get an R2 plate and O1 plate these are all new um, these are shoulders and ankles uh, beam savers knee uh, some things for the build booster the wings of course got a really small runner H2 with some red parts on it. Uh, these are marked 1100 uh, RM. So these are reused. Uh, same with the hands. Uh, C for the bottom of the feet. Um, these are generic. They just literally say X, C to X armor. So anything that uses the get X frame. Um, the generic sheet. <coughs> um, these are some new red parts. Uh, for the build booster, uh, little accent pieces, I believe these are for the shoulders, stuff like that, uh, and the chest frame and stuff like that, all the, the additional hands and good stuff. Ugh, beam effect parts, uh, weapons, shins and legs are slightly different from the Ale Strike RM. Um, these are all the, uh, the attaching points I was telling you about. Uh, and get like a whole little pegboard, so in case you want to attach the build booster pack to other master grades, you can do that as well. So, that's just pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. Um, that's weapons. Uh, next we get N, which uh, is what normally would be A. You know, you get your V-fin and some other stuff. But here's the new head, your safe figure, some parts of the shield, um, side skirts, plated pieces. Your stickers, um, not too crazy about the green stickers for the gun, but I have something in mind for that. Um, the A sheet, same as the Ale Strike Remaster, you get the chest, uh, the skirts and stuff like that. I need to do something with these skirts because I really, I really don't like the way the panel line works down the middle. Um, it's really hard to actually line that. So I'm going to try and come up with an alternative for that. Oh, next we've got uh, B which is another generic plate for GAT frames. I imagine that underneath is the same. Uh, that's E, it says GATX. And then 
more build strike stuff. So these are the shoulder frame uh, and some just some new stuff, ankles, all that goodies, good stuff. Um, we've got the O2, which again more build strike stuff. So the white piece for the shoulders, more. Um, well, this is basically a, a duplicate of O1 with some extra pieces on it. Uh, the stand and a large sheet of polycap. Um, S1, these are the shield pieces. Uh, F is frame bits and the remaining blue pieces for the uh, build booster. At the bottom here, we've got a little advert for uh, Dengeki Hobby Cross. Gundam A, I guess it's like a magazine thing. Um, you get this little thing that works for the uh, strike or the build strike or 1 to 144 uh, scale kits. And it's got all these different attachments on the front. Uh, you can swap those out. And then on the back, you've got uh, Gundam Build Fighters Amazing. So I'm guessing that there's a, an amazing series for the Gundam Build Fighters that's going to be put into a manga. So that's pretty cool. And finally, at the bottom, we have a instruction manual, which uses the same uh, shot as the front of the box, a built version of the kit on the back, uh, which I am in love with this mobile suit design. It's fantastic. Uh, I've said that. I can't say it enough. Um, weapons, uh, the fighters, the, the builder, <laughs> um, plate layout, um, information about the mobile suit and then straight into construction then it shows the uh, the first fight scene where it fights the guy in and then the uh, the scene where it fights the Zaku Amazing it shows some one step kits and then uh, the line art versus the actual uh, you know finished model uh, I think it came out fantastic um, so it also shows on the last page here how to go ahead and use these attachment pieces to swap out. For example, it uses the uh, the Wing Gundam or the Mark II, and it shows you how you can attach the backpacks for this and use it on different ones. And it even shows the new Gundam X. So if you want to use the Gundam X backpack, you can do that. So there you go. That's the unboxing, and I am going to start snapping this thing tonight and we will see what I can get done with it. Hopefully I can pull a review up tonight, or uh, not tonight, but in the near future. So keep your eyes peeled for that, and keep your eyes out for work in progress videos, because this one's going to be fun. So see you guys real soon. Bye.